Eagles appear to have quickly become touted as, by and large, the most powerful and attractive choices of stratagem in Helldivers 2. It's not difficult to see why. They absolutely obliterate hordes of enemies, and if you're thoughtful about your party composition, you can create a mixture of Eagle choices that can deliver excellent results in any situation. With that in mind, here's a tier list that solely focuses on Eagles and how they rank against each other. Quick disclaimer here, folks. This is my opinion. I am definitely not the authority on this game, and like all tier lists i'm sure there will be some varied opinions out there so as always i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions sound off in the comments below first up eagle cluster strike and in my opinion this is without a shadow of a doubt an s tier stratagem choice it is not difficult to see why the strike carpet bombs large areas with utterly devastating results it is amongst the best at deleting large groups with small and medium targets in vast quantities and i'd even go as far to say that you'd benefit from having more than one of these in your party at once. If you can communicate with your squad mates and you're dealing with large waves or bug breaches, alternate who throws these in and you can quickly remove yourselves from any dangerous situations. I often set up with this stratagem and the orbital EMS for those serious yikes moments. Even without the EMS, once you've got used to its calling time, you can predict enemies' advances and have them walk right into it. As with all eagles, you need to understand how the strikes come in, get your angles right and you will be golden. Its shortcomings are that it doesn't destroy buildings and I wouldn't say this is significant enough to drop it down a tier. I have seen people comment that actually you can get lucky and a cluster bomb can fall into a vent on an automaton building but that is very inconsistent. It works brilliantly at countering automaton drop-ins and once you've upgraded the hangar ship modules fully you get five charges with this strike which seems absolutely ridiculous. A real no-brainer S tier choice here folks. The Eagle Air strike can deal with a variety of enemies so it's very similar to the cluster strike in that regard it is an explosive strike and it decimates most if not all of what it catches in its blast it also feels speedier in terms of its calling and easier to control where it affects this is a trickier one to place because i feel like it can depend on what type of mission you're embarking on when assessing its effectiveness if you're going into a mission that requires you to destroy structures this strike can really excel coupled with the servo assist passive on armor giving you longer throws it allows you to snipe high priority objectives quickly and often at a safe distance from danger you can even couple this with the smoke strike to make this even more potent it can really speed up mission completion times and that is something that we're all about particularly in higher difficulties so long as you're playing to the strengths of the strike as well folks it also does serious damage to hordes of enemies and is nothing to be sniffed at here and you can even remove heavy armored targets from a fight which again is a real strength. It comes with three charges when fully upgraded, incredibly strong. With all that being said, given the mileage you can get out of this eagle and how it can vary substantially given the mission type, I'm going to give this an A tier ranking as I do think this is a very helpful and solid choice. But again, I would be inclined to perhaps pick things in front of it. The strafe run works in a very similar way to its explosive counterpart, Cluster Strike. The primary difference between them is that it has a more limited range of enemies that it can deal with due to the lack of explosive output but that aside this is still an incredibly powerful stratagem choice which you can comfortably include in your stratagem compositions it's extremely powerful when you're on hall clear duties and pairs up brilliantly with cluster strike the sheer volume and frequency of eagles you have at your disposal when you use these in tandem is quite staggering it seems to come in slightly faster than other eagle strikes and i think this is to do with the speed in which the projectiles fall in comparison to one another this may makes it very powerful in those scary pinch moments. It's so fast to throw in either on yourself or towards your teammates and this, coupled with the fact it's more predictable in terms of its area of effect due to the lack of explosion, makes it much less volatile. Just make sure if you're taking this approach that you are in comms with your teammates. If you shout things out like that when they're getting pressed or they're about to retreat, you can pull off some really heroic stuff here, folks. When fully upgraded, this comes with four charges, which again is absolutely crazy. And I'll be honest, I'm having a real difficult time here placing it either as S or A tier, but I think I'm going to go with A tier for this one just because I think overall, if I had to choose between cluster or strafe, I'd probably still be choosing cluster. It feels slightly more effective, and whilst it's more volatile and slightly slower at coming in, I do think once you get to grips with the game, you can make up for the difference. Perhaps this is the first point we may disagree on. Let me know what you think, folks. Sliding on into the realm of utility, 
Here's a really intriguing one. The Eagle Smoke Strike. Obviously, this is a non-destructive strike that has uses against ranged targets and the disruption it causes here cannot be understated. It is very situational in terms of best usage and if you're trying to disengage from enemies, it does an excellent job of covering your retreat when you're in a pinch. I do feel like this is much stronger against automatons, although I have seen people mentioning in the comments recently that it can be used quite creatively in bug missions in terms of closing bug holes and providing cover for us to move through swiftly. I do think there's definitely better ways of achieving the same outcomes in bug missions, that being said. This strike is superb if you see a bot drop approach. Call the strike in as the enemy is deployed. This will allow you to either get into a stronger position to engage or disengage entirely and make your next move. It is also really helpful if you're pushing fortified bases, and I mentioned this in my previous Eagles video. If you want to take a structure or objective and you're approaching to destroy it as a team, it allows you to push in close enough to throw a stratagem in to destroy buildings and clusters of enemies. It comes with three charges, which feels ample. And as much as I love this strike and I do enjoy using it, I'm teetering on the edge of giving it an A tier ranking, but I'm gonna place it in B. I just feel that if we're comparing them to each other, it just feels far too situational to award it a higher rank. That being said, I guess you could argue that I'm down ranking it simply because it has a utility based usage, but I am gonna stick to my guns here and give it a B. Napalm next. I'm a massive fan of this one. Fire acts as a slowing mechanic, which is where napalm strikes come into their own. Calling in this strike has three stages. The initial explosion from the strike itself, the effect it has on the enemies inside the initial blast, and then what happens to those that wander into it afterwards. This strike has the ability to deal initial burst damage from an explosion, and then the damage over time kicks in from the subsequent fire damage. It offers excellent utility that does both damage and CC, so you you're getting your crowd control in there and you're doing damage which can work really well if someone else is using cc options like ems or mortar i've seen it in some really strong combinations that feature orbital gas this can be devastating using the cc and damage over time call-ins is actually very effective at shutting down things like bug breaches and things like that have a look into it folks it really pays to communicate who is placing what where and when to optimize the damage output and the crowd control Control potential. You can also really double down on this with different weapons like the incendiary grenades, the breaker shotgun, even the flamethrower, making this eagle really effective if you want to play a more support style centered role. It comes with three charges when maxed, and it's really interesting to see how it can work quite well if you build a full setup around it. I've mentioned this previously, but if you take the engineering kit passive and you take advantage of having two more grenade slots coupled with a supply pack, you have 18 grenades in total imagine that folks with incendiary grenades or impact grenades absolutely awesome with all that being said no brainer for me this it goes in at a tier 110 mm rocket pods oh have we found a weak link here well as far as eagles go anyway maybe but let's get one thing clear eagles are great when comparing to other stratagems i think they're the premier choice don't get it mistaken however when we look at rocket pods i'm not so sure about their performance they're great at dealing with waves containing large clusters of more heavily armored enemies such as crushers tanks and hulks but you've absolutely got to make this count when you're in a pinch and they can be a little temperamental to say the least they do struggle to stick to targets from time to time which i would say is one of the major drawbacks you don't know how consistent they are going to be mission to mission what is great about this eagle though is that it locks onto larger targets in groups which makes it very useful for thinning and sniping larger targets in the ranks and you can also get lucky and land it in the middle of tightly packed groups of enemies and if you time it right you can actually get a handful of kills which is great that being said even though they do affect buildings as well i'm just not sure they offer as much effectiveness as the other eagles by and large and i think you're better off picking horde clear eagles and opting for weaponry or orbitals to snipe larger targets it comes with three charges where max which is fine and i imagine this is probably one that people are going to have different opinions on depending on their setups that they use personally but, but i'm actually going to put my neck out here i'm gonna put this at b tier i don't think it's as good as the other eagles i'd actually say i'm even inclined to put it a little bit closer to c tier comparing it to smoke i actually prefer using smoke over rockets what are your thoughts folks am i wrong let me know what you think
last but certainly not least the 500 kg bomb utter devastation and destruction complete screen clears <laughs> well almost for all its unparalleled power positioning and judgment are an absolute necessity here it's very easy to misjudge where you're placing this strike and not get the most bang for buck out of these which can feel quite odd given its immense power you can one shot a lot of heavy enemies including bile titans but you need to make sure that you land these on the nose to get rid of them i do actually feel like there are better ways to deal with bile titans and heavies but this strike does have a time and a place when dealing with them and absolutely can be used effectively there this works superbly if you get the jump on a group of enemies and are unaware of your presence drop one in the middle of a group and watch them melt it's fun to throw at nest areas and it's really fun to throw at things like bot drops and anything that has a large concentration of enemies in one place and if you can synchronize this with your team with ems with any form of cc it can be used very aggressively and also very defensively it is a highly effective weapon and i do think you can be throwing this around in fights quite close to your teammates once you sort of learn the range of it you can actually still sort of press the edge of the blast radius and get away with it again take some getting used to with a fully upgraded hanger this comes with two charges now this is a game changer for me and i actually changed my opinion on this strike once i saw the two charges on this instead of having one this really ramps up its effectiveness having two of these in a big engagement cannot be understated so with that being said i am going to give this s tier rating with the caveat that if you have not fully upgraded it it would likely be sat in a tier simply because of the limitations of how many times you can use it it also requires as i've said previously quite a lot of practice to get this stratagem right don't just think oh it's a nuke i'll chuck it anywhere and it'll kill everything it doesn't work like that folks you've got to practice if you're looking for a deep dive into eagle stratagems and their strengths and weaknesses check out this next video it's got you covered take care of yourselves keep having fun and i'll see you in the next one